What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tony Harrison and Jermail Charlo. You know, I just got around to watch the PBC face to face. You know, I was really wanted to see what this would produce due to the press conference when pretty much Tony Harrison clowned Jermail Charlo and gave him utter doubt verbally, mentally emotionally you know and I definitely felt Tony Harrison got the best of Jermail Charlo in that uh, press conference but looking at the PBC face to face that wasn't the take that wasn't the case on this I think Jermail Charlo well, when they were face to face eye to eye and the only thing was between them was a commentator I think Jermail Charlo really got the best of him I think he really sil silenced him with his voice, with his words. Tony Harrison was really quiet. I don't know if that was a strategy. I don't know if he just, you know, trying to reserve his energy, but he wasn't trying to reserve his energy at that press conference. He had a lot of scenarios. He had a lot of things to say. He planted seeds of doubt in the team of Jermail Charlo. You know, he even speculated that uh, Jermail's trainer didn't even like him. You know, so it was one of those things where Jermail was questioning everybody around him, you know, but this PBC face to face wasn't the, wasn't the case. These guys, Jamel Charlo just pretty much punked him this time. I think he got the best of him, you know. Um he pretty much told him what he was going to do. You know, he did uh question his uh injury, was it legitimate or not, you know? And Tony Harrison really did not seems so convincing too convincing you know of course he has his own charisma you know the fast detroit talk but i think jermel charlo was really more emotional you know uh, i think he got his point across more you know um because that date all of a sudden on the 23rd of june was mysteriously passed by you know due to an injury you know, and then of course, you know, they brought up, hey, you didn't have surgery, so why didn't you have surgery? What really happened? So he really put Tony Harrison on the spot. And Tony Harrison, I don't feel he responded the way he's supposed to respond it. And he definitely didn't have the same energy that he had at that press conference. You know, for that, I will give this particular uh, uh, debate to Jermail Charlo, because Jermail Charlo. I, you can tell now he does have a different type of fire. You know, he says, now nah, I'm going to knock your ass out. That's it. You know, and they were actually pretty uh, pretty cordial in there um, during this face-to-face. -face. I thought it was going to be a lot of F-bombs and, you know, all that stuff. That really didn't happen. That surprisingly, it didn't happen. But as soon as the cameras were off, and they thought the cameras were off, they were still at each other. One thing I can't say, this is a genuinely <coughs> uh, this is a rival. These guys don't like each other. <coughs> they didn't shake hands. They didn't do anything respectful to each other. None of that. You know, the only respectful thing is what they could have done and they didn't do. And, you know, a fight didn't break out or nothing like that. So, you know, we're thankful for that because it looked like you know, from what happened in the press conference, that could escalate to this point, at this point. But that didn't escalate. And uh, I think that uh, these guys are really willing to put it all on the line. I think Jermel is ready this time. I think the boy's pissed off. The man's pissed off. And Tony Harrison, you know, he says, hey, I'm not, I'm, I'm just worried about winning. So I think he's going to go in with the same game plan, but Jermel Charlo is going to come in aggressive. Now, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Now, we will see with Jermel, will him being super pissed off help him or hurt him? Now, this is what, what we will see, you know, because one thing about Jermel, Jermel is pissed off and he's here to make a statement. He's not leaving it in the hands of the judges like he said. He's willing to do whatever it takes to knock him out because I guess he uh, questioned the refs, I mean the, the judges' decision. So 
We will see. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunishing. Peace.